So the most common measure of variability in statistics is the standard deviation. Now the standard deviation is a measure of variability. And if you want to think about how it's constructed, we want to get an average distance or difference each value is to the mean. One thing we could do to get that average difference is subtract the smallest person person's height from the tallest person's height here. And that gives us some idea of how much the values spread out around the mean. This is called the range, but it's not an average difference. It's actually a measure of the extremes. So it's not exactly what we're going to be looking for here. Another thing that we could do is that we could take each value and subtract it from the mean and get then add up each one of these values. So people that are less, are not as tall as the mean have negative values. People are taller than the mean have positive values. But when we add that up, we get zero, and zero divided by anything is zero. So that's not going to work. That's actually just working backwards from the mean. To avoid this zero problem, we could actually take the absolute value. And this is what we've done here. We've moved the negatives to positives. Then we add up each of these values and divide it by the sample size. We do get something. We don't have that zero problem. This is called the mean absolute deviation, MAD. It's not as used as much in statistics, but it does get us closer to what we're looking for, this average difference each value is. Another thing to do to get rid of negative values is quite literally we square it. We're taking the difference each value is from the mean, multiplying it by itself. It's like adding up the area of a square. Well, so when we do this, the larger differences tend to get accentuated. We divide it by the sample size, and now we've got another average difference each value is from the mean. But it's actually the average squared distance because we've squared everything. And it's not terribly intuitive. And so to make this average difference more intuitive, we could take this average squared distance or difference, take the square root of it, and that's basically taking one side of a square. So the square root of 19 in this case equals 4.36 inches. And that's what we do. This big square is called the variance. One side of the square is the standard deviation. And the standard deviation is that average difference each value is from the mean. And that was a visualization of how we go about arriving at the standard deviation and where it, and where it comes from.